redo. Hey warrior, welcome to today's workout. I'm so glad you're here today. Today is Wednesday and you know what that means. That means, yeah, look at that. Look at that big muscular bicep. Biceps, cardio, and we're gonna hit some chest today as well. Um, we're gonna get into the demo, but today I just wanna say perspective of the world around us. We see things as we are, not as the world is, okay? We see the world as we are. All right, cardio, biceps, chest. Let's get this demo in, yeah? Matt, dumbbells, band to warm up, which I'm gonna get, and an incline to do some push-up work on. That's attached to the couch, okay. So first things first, we're doing a band warm up because I love beginning any chest day with a band warm up because our chest is so tight. So we're gonna take it to the streets. Sure, um, <laughs> why not, with our bands. Then we're gonna hit a bird dog warm up which will be on our hands and knees and we'll go opposite arm and leg, in and out. That's on the floor, not getting on the floor for that. Circuit number two, you need your dumbbells. We're doing bicep curl. So we're gonna start with our, our palms up. So we're doing bicep curl, down, up, crisscross jump. Down, up, crisscross jump. Up, crisscross jump. Then we're doing squat hold to alternating bicep curl. Let's go fast, hammer curl style. Incline chest press. Get your incline, your couch, your stable chair. I'm sorry, not incline chest press, incline push up here. And then we're doing bird dog opposite side plank. So now we're taking the bird dog to a plank position, which is even more intense on the core. Circuit number three is a wide to close modified push up. So we're going to do this on the ground on our knees. So make sure you have a good amount of cushion. We're going to do a wide push up, walk the hands in close. Hands out wide, so wider than normal and closer than normal. Uh, then we are doing a, I'll get on the floor for this, then we're gonna lay on our backs, weight in hand. You're gonna do a um, chest press to crunch. As you crunch, you are going to reach up towards the leg. As you come down with the weight, the leg also comes down. 30 on the right, 30 on the left. Last thing is a hollow hold cycle. So we're gonna have one knee bent, one leg straight. And what you're gonna do is bring your hands back and forth over your head, down by your sides, and pedal your feet. And that's all. It's gonna be a nice little sweaty workout. And I'm testing a new microphone today. If you can see it, it's ginormous. I don't know if you can see it actually. I feel like I can use a little bit more light. Sorry, this is taking so long. To set up. I like that better. All right, you guys. Starting in 30 seconds. Let's do some jumping jacks. Get the heart warm. Oh. Today's gonna be a good workout. All right, grab your band. Let's go singles, keeping the arms straight. Make nice big circles from your shoulders and your chest. Allow your back to open up, your chest to open up. You can move and reach to the sides. Whoops, caught my hair, caught my ponytail. Let's change direction. I like giving a full minute on these because our chest and our shoulders are some of the tightest muscles in our bodies and shoulder injuries are so common because we don't mobilize them and we sit really concave, meaning our chest gets really pulled forward and tight, rolled forward, our back is weak and not holding our posture up nice and straight. Good, we're gonna move it down to the ground for our bird dogs. It's 
So for this, you're on hands and knees, all fours. Extend opposite arm and leg. Reach and extend like you're trying to elongate your entire body. And then you're gonna round your spine. Get your knee to touch your elbow. Big extension, core connection here. Drive up and in. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic. Trying to work around it. Really extend it. Switch sides. Full extend. Reach, 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 reach. Don't waste that part. And round. You're exhaling as you drive your elbow and knee in and round your spine, making a little bit more room. Good, I want you to get in full plank. We are doing mountain climbers. We're gonna go around the world, so that means you're gonna run your feet to the left, and then back to the middle, and then to the right keeping your hands stable. Okay, coming on up. Back to your band warm up. You can grab your band or your stick a little bit closer. Do it, you can get a little bit more resistance on your stretch here. So today is a really gloomy day in New York, and I think it may have even snowed or something. There's like some white stuff, almost like salt on the street, and I don't know why it would be there unless it snows, change direction. But it's such a gloomy day, so overcast. It was supposed to, it did rain earlier, and it's so common that the weather can affect how we feel, right? sunny and bright, we usually feel a little bit more lighter. It's gloomy and overcast, we're like, ugh, tired, I'm achy, I'm lethargic, want to stay in bed all day. Good, you guys, bird dogs on the ground. But I will tell you, life is all about perspective. Because a gloomy, overcast day may make you feel like that, but for a photographer or videographer who is using natural light, to capture their subjects like I am doing for the most part with us, it is the perfect recipe. It is exactly what you want. You want it to be super overcast. And I can give you the perfect example, switch sides of that from the other day in our workout when the sun was really, really harsh. It was really bright. There was no clouds in the sky. Well, there were a few clouds in the sky, but there were harsh shadows on these um, doors back here behind me. And as the sun went in and out behind the clouds, I either disappeared completely because <laughs> the sun was super strong and harsh and the light was so bright, mountain climbers, and or, or it just got like really dark or sort of normal um, amount of light poking in. And I was going crazy because it was just disrupting my whole workout. And obviously we kept it going. And we kept moving and we finished it, but we see life as we are, not as the world is. So, it's a little photographer's word of wisdom, I guess. Okay, let's get these band warm ups. Grab it a little bit closer this time. Switch direction. Good, over the head together, squeeze and back over. Nice job, drop the band, you can put it to the side, we don't need it anymore. Bird dogs on the ground. Extend, nice big reach, hollow out the belly, drive in.
switch sides. Extend it. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, first circuit is done. That was nice and light and easy. Warming our way up. Is my phone still on? Yes. Great, things are going according to plan. Next circuit, we're starting off with our bicep curl, crisscross jump. And then we have squat hold, incline chest press, bird dog planks on the incline. Those are way core challenging. They'll be really good. Okay, you guys, start with your biceps halfway up. Bring it down, bring it up, crisscross the feet. Cross down, up, cross, cross, five, cross, cross. Good, squat hold, alternating hammer curls, wide sumo squat. Moving a little faster. This is the only set of bicep curls that we have in this workout. So make it count. Three, two, and one. Drop your weights, go over to your incline. We have push-ups. Hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Core is tucked in. Feet are hip width apart as well. The wider your feet, the stronger foundation of a base you have. Three, two, one. So I want you to raise opposite arm and leg and then put it down and we're gonna switch. Good, moving with control, I told you. This is way challenging. That's why we're doing it on an incline, not on the ground just yet. Make sure your core is connected, belly belly, belly belly, pulling up and in. Three, Two, one, good you guys. Face forward, punch one and then the other from the chin, keep the hands at your face. Make sure your knuckles turn and face me, face the screen every time you punch. So I don't wanna see um, your, like I wanna see where the rings go on your knuckles, not the front part of your knuckles. Five, four, three, Two bicep curls. Start with them up, curl down, up, crisscross. So they are up when you do the crisscross jump. Nice soft knees, absorb it in the legs. Three, two, sumo squat. Alternating hammers. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Incline push-ups. Right in, guys. Feet wide, hands just outside shoulders. Make sure your chest is coming directly into the center of your hands, not too far behind and not too far in front. Keep your glutes and your core engaged. Five, four, Three, 
two, and one. Bird dogs alternating your sides. Quality over quantity. Ten seconds. Two, one, punches. Again, from the chin, make sure the ring part of your knuckle, like where you would wear your rings is what I'm trying to say, on your fingers, turns and faces out every time you punch. So really exaggerate that. Five, four, three, two, one. Last set of this circuit. Bicep curls. Let's go, warrior. Down, up, crisscross it. Five, four, three, two, wide sumo squat. Chest up tall. You got it. Nice deep breaths. This guy right now, I can't even describe the colors to you of the sunset. Again, all about perspective. Might be a gloomy day, but the sky is amazing right now. Push-ups. It's like blue and pink, and it's changing. It's amazing. Come on, breathe it. You can do this. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Bird dog it. Whew. Make sure your hand is right under your shoulder for this. If it's out too wide, you will throw yourself off balance. So hands come in. Feet also come in. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, circuit number three, you guys. You need a dumbbell. Um, everything else is on the ground. I gotta double up and triple up my mat for my knees because I'm getting old and I'm feeling it. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. We're in modified push-up position. Hands are wide, so wider than normal. Wider than might even feel comfortable. Okay, so super wide, walk in, close. Walk wide, walk in close. Five, four, Three, two, and one. You're gonna flip around and grab a weight. This is your single side punch. Arm comes down, leg comes down. Punch up to your foot. We're doing opposite arm and leg. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Switch it. Down and down, up and up. Try and get your shoulder blades off of the floor. Keep your abs engaged even when your leg comes down. Three, 
two, one. Drop your weight. Both arms and legs straight up in the air. Straighten one leg, bend the other. Bring your hands behind your head. Peel your head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. We're gonna pump the arms behind the head, next to the body, up and down. You're gonna pump your legs at the same time. Make sure your lower back is staying in contact with the ground. If it's not, bring your legs up higher. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Whew. Awesome, you guys. Come on up, we're gonna flip right over and begin our second to last set of the workout. So now you know what we're doing. Let's take it up a notch, finish this workout strong. Hands are wide. You can take it up to a full push-up if that feels right for you. Otherwise, keep it modified. Wide hands, close hands. Ooh, that one's harder. <laughs> Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it over, grab your weight, punch and crunch. Start with both down, both come up and down together. Three, two, and switch. Oh, feeling that all over the place. Leg down, arm down, crunch up, leg comes up. One. We got our hollow hold cycle. Peel head, neck, and shoulders up. Pump the arms and the legs. Moving slow and with intention. This is harder than it looks, and if you find it easy, you're probably not doing it right. Just to be candid. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Let's go, we have two more minutes of work. I know it feels good to be done, but let's stay focused. We have two minutes of work to get through. Let's go, guys, wide and close push-ups. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it. Crunch, punch. Out to lunch. Let's go. I always like to get a little. You can see the endorphins hit in when I, when they hit in the workouts because I always get a little silly. Whew, arm is on fire. Five seconds. And switch. Arm down, leg down. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Cycle it, half hollow hold. Exhale, enjoy your belly button in more. Ooh. Come on, warrior. Stay with it. I know it burns. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, done. Woo! Ah, celebration. Celebrate. That's not the right words or tune to that song. <laughs> Woo! And we're dark. Incredible job, Warrior. Another workout of the week is complete way to show up for yourself, my friend. I'm so proud of you in the effort that you've been doing and showing up. And if this is your first workout back in a long time, girl, welcome back. Happy to have you. Keep it up. We be in here. We want you to have fun and enjoy it and join us. So keep showing up to the party. If you did work out today, I want you to write in the, well, if you're here watching this video, then of course you did. <clears throat> Unless you just watch me work out, in that case, I'm gonna yell at you, so definitely tell me. <laughs> um, write in the Facebook group and share with our sisters, our warrior sisters, some um, just thoughts in how you've been doing and what's been difficult and what's been a win for you and what you've learned throughout this process. We are getting close to the last few days of this year in this decade, and it is not too late to start making mindset shifts, to start taking your life into your own hands, becoming empowered, using the tools that we are talking about every single week and applying them even in the smallest of ways, in the smallest of moments. It is important. They seem insignificant, but I am telling you, this shit compounds. Sorry for cursing. I'm getting excited. It compounds. It adds up. It brings you strength in ways you didn't even realize. So comment, share, because this stuff is, is contagious and in like the best possible contagious way. Not like the flu virus contagious or um, Ebola. We don't want any of that, but we want courageous contagiousness. We want inspiration, contagiousness, and all of that. And I know you get what I'm saying. I'm going to leave us here, do some breath work to close yourself out today. And I'm going to leave you with this question. Who are you, warrior? I am strong. I am powerful. I am a warrior. And I am ready for what's next. Let's go. See you tomorrow.